Welcome back to the First Time Home Buyer's Guide. I am your host, Tom Summers with Coldwell Banker. Why should I avoid Zillow? Sounds like a really odd question or statement to make, so I'm sure you're tuning in because you use Zillow right now. The reason I'm picking on them in particular, and this is again, personal opinion, they have created more trouble for myself as a real estate agent, as well as many other realtors that I work with. <clears throat> Zillow is designed for one thing, to sell me, a real estate agent, leads, or people just like you, to buy houses or sell houses. Fine, that's their prerogative. If you're a real estate agent that wants to do business with them, and spend thousands of dollars a month uh, on leads that never come to fruition, great, that's up to you as well. But when it comes to my clients, the reason I want you to avoid Zillow is because of the inaccuracy of the information. First off with their Zestimate, which is their idea of what an estimated value of a home is. I've never seen one that's correct, so I don't know how they do all of this. Everything is computer generated. The only way to truly know the value of a home is to sit down and look at all of the sold homes within a two mile radius that are similar in square footage, finished square feet, amenities and other things that will give you a value of a house. <clears throat> because the way things are set up with them, there's usually square footage is wrong, the number of bathrooms, bedrooms and other things. But more importantly, where I really saw the shift is about a decade ago when there was a lot of foreclosures and short sales, there was a website that still exists today called Realty Track. And it was for professionals like myself. And what it did was it would track short sales and foreclosures to give you an idea of where we were at for the number of filings and, and everything. But they were very, very careful to, to break it down and explain what was going on in the market. Zillow basically took that idea and made it into their own so they're they're basically taking filings of different things that happen at the county and making the assumption that the home is going into foreclosure when in many cases it's not so through my personal experience about 50 percent of what's on that site doesn't exist it's either sold or it's not for sale or whatever the case might be Having a search engine set up through a real estate agent like myself that comes directly from the MLS is your best way to find every single home that's for sale. And it's updated every 15 minutes. It's the first place that you will get the updated information because I don't care if it's Coldwell, Edina, Century 21, Remax, any of the other brokerages out there, we all feed from the MLS. So if I'm giving you a direct search right from the MLS, the information is not going to be any more accurate than that. I'm not trying to discourage you from looking on other sites and saving favorites and doing searches. I'm all for that because the, uh, the website or the search is not infallible because maybe you've changed something in your search now that it's missing a house. So we can always change that and make it better. But I want to start with accurate information to keep down the confusion. And in my personal opinion, that's why I don't like sites like that because of the inaccuracy. So to save yourself a headache and a lot of frustration, stick with the better search engines and allow me as your real estate agent to help guide you to that point.